thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Zerks from today with another YouTube video, and today I have something a little bit interesting. So I'm going to be doing my positional heroes predictions now. The one thing I have to say is this is not going to be the absolute best players in the game like last year we had the free safety and strong safety they both were on the cardinals i don't remember who it was no actually i think the strong safety was uh ron parker which absolutely no one would, would you know think ron parker would give himself a positional hero card there are definitely some really weirdly really weird positional heroes last year and i have to say you're not gonna see tom brady Aaron Rodgers, you're not going to see, you know, Le'Veon Bell, you're just not going to see the top tier absolute best guys in the game. So with that being said, they're not going to be the absolute best players at their position, but positional heroes are the, you know, sort of the top tier players, but not the absolute best. That's usually how it goes. There might be one or two people up there that you could consider to be the top people in their position. They used to do it a couple years ago, and like Patrick Peterson was one, of course, he is a top tier guy, but... We're going to start off with the quarterback position, and I'm not going to go over, I think, probably the offensive line, because the offensive line is just kind of hard to predict. Honestly, there's no stats. It's just kind of random, and they do just kind of go with the top tier guys for that. But with the quarterback, for the passer rating, this is how I'm kind of going off this is going to be for the passing yards. Number three and number four was Matt Stafford and Drew Brees, right after Phil Rivers and Tom Brady. I don't think they'll make a Rivers a position hero, so it could definitely be Drew Brees or Matt Stafford. This is Matt Stafford's highest overall card, only a 90, and Drew Brees hasn't gotten a new card since the Mutt Hero, so I could definitely see him being the quarterback or even Matt Stafford. For the running back, I could definitely see a LaShawn McCoy positional hero. His highest overall card is a 95 limited time card during the Christmas promo, and he was fourth in rushing. Now, of course, you have Kareem Hunt, Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell, and Mark Ingram is just below him. I don't think they would give it to Mark Ingram, and I believe that Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, and Kareem Hunt all have pretty high overall cards, and they usually don't give any positional heroes to a rookie. I haven't seen anyone give one that was a rookie, so if anyone I think they're going to give it to, it's probably going to be Shady. He will definitely, you know, whatever they need to do the set, Shady will definitely sell it. I mean, who doesn't want LaShawn McCoy? Now, for the wide receivers, usually it's two wide receivers and two cornerbacks. So, the first wide receiver, in my opinion, probably going to be Adam Thielen. This is his highest overall card, only a 92. And he was number five in the NFL in receiving yards with 1,276. Of course, you're not going to see Antonio Brown. You're not going to see Julio Jones on this list. But Adam Thielen definitely could be a pretty good card. Here he is, 93 spec catch, 91 route running, 91 jumping, 92 catch. Also has an 89 speed on his 92 overall. And I'm going to guess that positional heroes this year will be probably the lowest 96, highest 98. I don't think we're going to have 99 overall positional heroes just yet. And I think they're going to vary in overalls. But the other receiver that I think will get it is probably going to be Keenan Allen. I would have went with DeAndre Hopkins had he not gotten a team of the year card, but I'm almost positive that Keenan Allen only has a 93 overall team of the week. We can check him on that, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a higher overall card besides that card right there, the 93 team of the week. And he was number three in receiving yards, or actually, I think he had the comeback player of the year. So they could possibly still give him the positional hero. But with that being said, with him being a 97 overall already, we could possibly see it maybe given to Michael Thomas, who I do believe only has himself a, uh, the, oh, I can't think of the name, the motivator. I'm pretty sure that Michael Thomas only has himself the motivator, and he's had an it's, like, outstanding career so far, so they could definitely give it to him. And I do believe this is the only card that he has would be his 91 overall motivators edition which it seems like he's not even up on the auction block just yet or just in general actually maybe i'm just tripping and yes he is a 92 overall for some reason i thought he was 91 but he only has a 92 so i guess adam Thielen and michael thomas could be the positional heroes in terms of the top 10 in receiving yards it's antonio brown julio jones that are probably neither of them will get the card uh, well possibly Antonio brown he's a 93 but like i said before positional heroes is never the top player so that would be absolutely insane if they actually decided to give it to him then we have Keenan Allen DeAndre Hopkins who just had a team of the year Keenan Allen has a 97 Adam Thielen and then Michael Thomas number seven is Tyreek Hill but I think he has a limited time card for the um 
the Pro Bowl, so I don't think he will get that as well. But Michael Thomas and Adam Thielen, I think that would be a pretty solid wide receiver positional heroes. Now for the tight end, I could definitely see Delaney Walker. In terms of tight ends, there really wasn't too many amazing tight ends. Of course, we do have Travis Kelsey, who has a playoff card, and also we have Rob Gronkowski, who of course has himself a team of the year card. So Delaney Walker being the only one that doesn't have an absolutely insanely high overall card and had a pretty good season is Delaney Walker. So he only has a 90 overall card, but of course, Delaney Walker is amazing speed, 84 speed, and 85 room like on this card. Positional hero would be absolutely crazy for him. Now at fullback, I'm honestly not too sure who could possibly be getting the fullback. I do know Roosevelt Nix could possibly get one. Zach Lyon, maybe. Honestly, fullback is a pretty tricky spot. They could give it to really anyone they really want to, and it's kind of hard to predict. But I'm going to guess if I had to, I guess Rose, I guess Roosevelt Nix, I really don't have a choice of this one. He did help, you know, Le'Veon Bell rush for an insane amount of yardage. And in terms of other fullbacks, I'm pretty sure that the only other fullback possibly would be James Devlin. And he already has a 94 overall. Also, Anthony Sherman has an 89. So, not really too sure for fullback. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts. Now, the first position here I'm going to say for the cornerback is going to be Marcus Peters, the man that just got traded to the Rams. So I think that's kind of interesting. I think he could definitely see himself get that. And the next card I'm going to suggest is kind of a sleeper cornerback, but it would be kind of cool to see EA do this. They did this last year with Ron Parker, who was someone that, you know, nobody really thought he'd be the card. I think someone else will probably say in the comment section, you know, Patrick Peters or whatever, but... I'm going to take a little bit of a risk with this one, and I think they could definitely be seeing this guy get a card. I don't even know if he has an elite card in the game just yet. We can check, and yes, he does actually. 89 overall, Patrick Robinson. Had himself a career year, and won himself the Super Bowl, and he had a pick six, I do believe, or at least an interception in the playoffs, I think, versus the Vikings. He had a pick six. Look me if I'm wrong on that with Eagles fans, but I know for a fact he did have an interception in that game. But Patrick Robinson could be the positional hero. The card, 89 overall, 87 zone, 86 man, 89 speed. I could definitely see him getting a positional hero or even Patrick Peterson if they want to go that route. But if they want to go the no name or just the unknown type player, Patrick Robinson could definitely get himself this card. For the strong safety position, I'm going to be going with Eric Weddle. I think he can definitely sell that set in 85 speed, 89 excel, 94 zone, 88 hip power on his 93 over card overall card his speed might not be the best but that zone cover should be pretty good play rate should be pretty good and overall just a ball hawk and for the free safety position i'm probably it's honestly a pretty tough position you want to go with someone like kevin byard who led the league in picks but of course kevin byard already has a team of the year then you also have you know the uh, harris smith who now plays free safety or, or, i think he's free safety strong safety whatever he keeps doing with him they're doing something wrong with him, but Jordan Poyer could possibly get himself the free safety card. He did an amazing year for him. Deshaun Gibson had four interceptions. Free safety for me is, I'm honestly not too sure. It's just whoever EA wants to go with for that one. But leave a comment down below on who you think is going to get the free safety, because honestly, I'm pretty lost for that. At the left end position, I'm going to say Demarcus Lawrence. This man was tied for a second in the NFL in sacks with 14 and a half sacks and definitely had himself a breakout year and he's looking for a huge contract extension i surely hope the cowboys would give that to him or franchise tag him or something because i definitely want this man to stick around on my team before the right end i'm gonna say either yannick nagakwe who had himself 12 sacks which is just insane to think that he had 12 sacks with calais campbell having 14 and a half on the other side that is just nuts or even cameron hayward who also had 12 sacks so either Yannick Ngakwe or if they want to go with a little bit more known player they could definitely go with Cameron Hayward but Demarcus Lawrence is definitely a stud and I could definitely see him getting that card but for defensive tackle it's honestly a, a little bit harder to pick out defensive tackle of course there's always Aaron Donald but he, now he's a left and he also had a limited time and a full honors card uh, we also have Geno Atkins got himself a team of the year card besides that we could go maybe Malik Jackson who had eight sacks or Kawan Short, if he wants to go that way, he is a little bit faster. I feel like maybe he'll sell the set more because people want a faster defensive tackle, but probably either Kawan Short or if they want to go the route of just giving it to Malik Jackson, they could do that. Either one of those two for defensive tackle. Defensive tackle is not really looking like a hot commodity this year. 
Now, I know I said that EA probably would not give the top player at that position to anyone, but I think if anyone is, is really deserving of it to get that top position and be the top player, it's probably Chandler Jones. This man at the left outside linebacker position had 17 sacks at the outside linebacker. That is just crazy to lead the league in sacks at a linebacker, you know, not with your hand on the ground, but coming off the edge. Chandler Jones definitely should be getting that left side linebacker spot. And for the right outside linebacker, I could see it maybe being Ryan Kerrigan, who had 13 sacks, although he did just get an NFL replays card. Maybe if I'm lucky as a Cowboys fan, I want to say this. I want to say Sean Lee. Terrell Suggs also had 11 sacks. Of course, he does have a Christmas card, so he could possibly get the right outside linebacker. Melvin Ingram, that is a sleeper card as well. I'm pretty sure that he's actually a left outside linebacker, though. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. We can check that out. Melvin Ingram, is he a left outside and unfortunately he is so i don't think he'll be getting the left side linebacker or the right side linebacker spot so maybe terrell suggs maybe a sean lee but for the middle linebacker spot that is where it starts to get just a little bit interesting there are definitely some sleeper guys in here of course we do have Deion jones who ea would love to throw in just about every single thing they could possibly do because Deion jones instantly sells packs and of course with him being the positional hero card a ton of people will go for him then we have preston brown who led the league in tackles and we also have Joe Schobert, or I believe that's how you say it, played for the Cleveland Browns this year, and he actually made the Pro Bowl. He led the league in tackles as well. Basically, him, Preston Brown, Joe Schobert, and correct me if I'm saying his, ring, uh, his name wrong, I feel like I am, and Blake Martinez, all at 144 tackles. Then we do have Christian Kirksey, who would be pretty fun, but there's definitely a lot of middle linebackers that you could go with. Do they want to go the speed route and just try to sell it or do they want to go with someone else different like bobby wagner cj mosley that is a top name luke keekley definitely could sell that but there's uh, to be honest a ton of different people that ea could go with in this so we're just gonna have to see what they want to do in terms of that before the kicker and also the punter let's get into that now for the kicker, we can either go with the Robbie Gold, who has a 95 overall card already, 92 kick power, 96 kick accuracy, or we can go Matt Prater, who is a 92, of course. There's really a ton of different kickers you can go with, you know, Justin Tucker, whoever you really want to go with, whoever he decides on, is basically who we're going to get. And for the punter, probably either Shane Leckler or Brad Wing for the Giants. It's kind of a toss-up. It really doesn't matter for kicker punter, though, if we're being honest. 99 kick power, you probably can't even make a 63 yard field goal this year to be completely honest with you i feel like the max kick you can make is probably a 61 62 so we'll see about that but those are my positional hero predictions if you guys agree with them let me know down below or comment down below which one of these you don't agree with. like i said before you're probably not going to see you know a lot of the top tier players at their position i'm just going to say that if there's going to be anyone i had to go with chandler jones i mean led the league in sacks left side linebacker not a lot of other outside linebackers did that good unless they want to go the coverage route of course i did go you know kind of the pass rushing way with the left outside linebacker so just kind of you know depending on what ea wants to do with that position but let me know down below what you guys think about my predictions what will you change what you guys think the positional hero cards overalls are going to be maybe I think it's gonna be 96 99 96 98 i honestly don't know and i'm pretty sure the sets will have some type of elite token needed in there so it's definitely gonna be interesting to see and i hope to god positional heroes don't let us down this year but if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time